How did you get in here? What? I locked the door. I'm the sports editor. No, I'm the sports editor. You're the editor-in-chief. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, Lions fans. I'm Matt Dion, he's Alex Collet, and welcome to Season 2 of What You Missed in Sports. It was a bit of an up-and-down week for our York Lions, simultaneously featuring tough losses and incredible victories. We'll start this week off with the men's soccer team, who played two games, one against Waterloo on Saturday and one against Western on Sunday. The matchup against Waterloo was all York in the first half, as they scored four goals in the 45-minute minute frame. Two of those goals came from midfielder Eddie Lay, who scored his second and third goals of the season within a span of eight minutes. However, despite the encouraging half, York struggled out of the gate in the second, allowing Waterloo to come within a single goal in the final minutes of play due to several defensive miscues down the stretch. Fortunately, the men were able to hold on in the final minutes, winning the game by a score of 4-3. The next game on Sunday pinned the Lions against a much tougher Western Mustangs team, a team that the Lions had lost to earlier in the season by a score of one to nothing. The game was an incredible defensive affair, as Western could not even manage a single shot on goal throughout most of the game. It was in the 74th minute of play when York finally managed to break through with the first goal of the game, courtesy of Dylan Carrario, netting his sixth of the season. It looked like York had the game in the bag in the final minutes, but in the end, they could not hold on to their lead as Western managed to put one past the goalkeeper in the 87th minute. This brought the score to 1-1, one to one, which would be the final score of the match. Now on to the women who also played two games this weekend against the same schools. The matchup against Waterloo was also quite the defensive affair as neither team could find the net throughout the entire game due to constant defensive pressure deep in both teams' zones. The score would remain nil-nil right to the final minutes. The next matchup saw the Lions face off against the best team in the OUA on Sunday, the Western Mustangs. The Mustangs came out of the gate firing on all cylinders, scoring two goals in the first ten minutes. However, after the tough start, York managed to stop the bleeding, holding the score to 2 nothing at the end of the half. The next half saw an increased pressure from York to score a goal and cut the lead in half. However, the Mustangs showed why they were the best team in the league and held the Lions to only three shots in the half. The final score of the game would remain at two to nothing. Next week's matchup for the Lions soccer club pins them against the McMaster Marauders on the sixth and the Brock Badgers on the eighth. Kickoff against McMaster will be 6 p.m. for the women and 8 p.m. for the men in Hamilton. Kickoff against Brock will be 1 p.m. for the women and 3.15 for the men at Alumni Field. Now on to football, where the Lions took to the field in Hamilton to take on the best defense in the OUA, the McMaster Marauders. The home team certainly lived up to their title during the homecoming game against the Lions, as they allowed only two points throughout the entire match. After a first quarter which saw both teams failing to capitalize on several scoring chances, McMaster finally broke through in the second quarter off of a 38-yard pass courtesy of quarterback Jackson White for the touchdown. The second half saw the Marauders break away as blocked McMaster field goal on the five yard line turned into a fumble recovery for the Marauders on the one yard line. The next play saw running back Jordan Lyons punch it in for the touchdown, bringing the score to 24 to one. After increasing the score via a few more field goals in the fourth quarter, McMaster finally put the game to bed, which made the final score 32 to two. The Lions look to bounce back from this tough loss this Thursday, where they'll be taking on the Laurier Golden Hawks at home. Kickoff is at 7 p.m., so make sure to get your tickets. Now on to rugby, where the woman faced off against the Western Mustangs in a crucial game that would decide their playoff seeding in the OUA Championships. After an opening try from the Mustangs, the Lions got on the board five minutes later when Megan Pakoulis evened the score after constant pressure in Western zone. It was smooth sailing from here as the Lions pounded Western on the offensive end scoring in the 26th and 42nd minute, courtesy of York's leading scorer, Toby Owotomo. Tia Anderson-Hudson and Sasha Seymour also added to the score with tries of their own in the second half, bringing the final score to 33-20. to The women now have a playoff berth and will be facing off against the Brock Badgers in the quarterfinals on October 6th at Alumni Field. Kickoff is at 7 p.m., so make sure to support your Lions. Now on to field hockey, where the undefeated women had two matchups on Friday, facing off against the Toronto Varsity Blues and the Queens Gales. The Varsity Blues matchup began incredibly well as the Lions managed to score in the second minute of the game, courtesy of Madison Mitchell. Following that goal came a successful corner in the 45th minute of play, courtesy of Frankie St. Louis. At a score of 2-0, the Lions put the game to bed when Amira Brar netted the third goal of the game in the 51st minute of play. The final score would be 4-1 with the victory over our crosstown rivals. The second game against Queen saw an even more success as York managed to score in the 16th and 17th minutes of play, courtesy of Rebecca Titus and the reigning player of the week, Jazzland Sterling. The rest of the game was all York, scoring two more goals and only allowing one. 
This brought the score to a final of 4-1. to one. The women are still undefeated on the season and look to improve on their record when they face off against Queens once again on Friday and then against the Guelph Griffins on Wednesday. Good luck, Lions. To end the show, we want to give a special shout out to the Lions women's tennis team who finished undefeated on the season with a record of 6-0. They'll be heading to the OUA championship from October 6th to October 8th. Good luck, Lions. Despite all the fantastic performances, we decided to choose only one performer of the week, and that title goes to cross-country runner Ali Gatgani, who finished fifth in the eight-kilometer race at the Don Mills Open in Waterloo this past weekend. The third-year runner finished with a personal best 26 minutes and 12 seconds in the race. Good job pushing yourself forwards towards greatness, Ali. That's all for this week. Make sure to tune in next week for more Lions news, scores, and updates.